สวัสดีค่ะ My name is Linda. Welcome to my cooking channel, True Thai Kitchen, where I cook Thai food and share some of my recipes with you. Air fried pork belly is irresistible. Crispy on the outside and tender and flavorful on the inside. Today I have a delicious pork belly recipe for you, and this one has a Thai flair with a savory and sweet combination in taste. Oh yum! Let's get cooking. I hope you are having a fantastic day and ready to cook with me. Okay, first. Can we talk about this pork belly? Look at that! It is so beautiful. It is basically a huge slab of bacon. But unlike bacon, pork belly is uncured, unsliced, and unsmoked. And I got this beautiful cut from my local butcher shop, and I'm so excited. And can't wait to share this recipe with you. The marinating ingredients may seem like a lot, but trust me, each of these ingredients adds a little something something to this recipe. For example, the Thai red curry paste brings out this earthy, spicy herbs. Just a little bit, very subtle, because we're using a little bit, but it's so good. The unami flavor will be coming from the fish sauce and the oyster sauce, so don't skip them. I like to use both light and dark sweet soy sauce to give a nice balance of sweet and salty. And here is my extra sweet touch, pure Canadian maple syrup. It's the best. All right, so first we need to slice the pork belly into pieces. You can cut them into large or small pieces. It's up to you. Mine is about half an inch thick, and they are pretty good bite size. So once we have the pork belly all sliced up, we want to transfer them into a mixing bowl and add all of the ingredients for the marinade. As you can see, I have listed the ingredients here on the screen for you. But if you are looking for a written recipe, check the description box below. I have everything there. When you are mixing, make sure that each of the pork belly piece is covered in sauce and seasoning. And let it all marinate for about five minutes. In the meantime, we can preheat the air fryer at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for three minutes. And for easy cleanup, I like to line the aluminum foil at the bottom of the air fry basket. The trick here too is to lay the pork belly pieces flat and do not overcrowd them, and just air fry them in batches until they are cooked through. Mine took about 10 minutes per batch, and I flipped them at about halfway through. Keep in mind, though, that air frying time may vary depending on how thick or thin your pork belly pieces are, and also what type of air fryer you have. Alternatively, you could use the oven to cook if you do not have an air fryer. Simply bake in the preheated oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Flipping at halfway through. Just make sure to line your baking sheet with parchment paper. Okay, so my pork belly pieces are done cooking, and let me tell you, they were absolutely scrumptious. My family enjoyed every bite. You can serve this as an appetizer with a nice cold drink, or have it as a meal with a side of rice and veggies, and dinner would be fabulous. And there you have it, my air fryer Thai-style pork belly. I hope you enjoy my video. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time. For more fun Thai recipes, visit True Thai Kitchen on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. สวัสดีค่ะ